In the last lecture, we have studied about grammars. We have also seen some types of grammars and we have also seen how grammars are formally defined or described. So, in this lecture, we will be seeing about derivations from a grammar. So, what do we mean by derivations from a grammar? So, it says here that the set of all strings that can be derived from a grammar is said to be the language generated from that grammar. So, suppose we have a grammar given and all the sets of strings that can be derived from that grammar, that is known as the language generated from that grammar. Okay, so let's see a simple example for that. Okay, so here we have an example given. Consider the grammar G1. We have a grammar G1 given here and here in this grammar G1, S and A, these are the non-terminal symbols or the variables and A and B are the terminal symbols and S is the start symbol and we have a production rule given like this. S gives A, A, B, A, A gives A, 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 B and A gives epsilon. Okay, so let us try to see some strings that can be generated from this grammar G1. So let me start from the start symbol that is S and from S I can get A, A, B, small a, capital letter A and then B. So this is using the production rule S gives A, A, B. Okay, now let us try to further expand this. We have A, A, B here and now we have one production rule which says A, A gives A, 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 B. So this A, A over here, it can be expanded and written as A, 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 B. A, 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 B. So I have expanded this part and I have this B remaining over here. So this is by the production rule which says A, A gives A, 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 B. Okay, now let's further expand this. From here again by the same production rule, I can take this A, A from here and let me expand it. This A, A can be written as A, 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 B. A, 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 B and this B will be written as it is and this B also will be written as it is. So this is also by the production rule which is same as above. A, A gives A, 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 B. Okay, and now I would like to further expand this. Here I have this A over here and instead of A I can write epsilon. That means I can replace it with a empty symbol. So I can write A, A, A and epsilon means you can just leave it blank and B, B, B. B, B, B. And this is by the production A gives epsilon. So finally we got the string A, 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 B, B, B. So this is a string that is derived from the grammar G1. So similarly you can derive other strings from this grammar and all the strings, the set of all the strings that can be derived from this grammar G1 will be known as the language generated from this grammar. Okay, now let's see another example. So here we have another example grammar G2 which is given like this. S, A, B are the non-terminal symbols and A and B are the terminal symbols. S is the start symbol and we have production rule given like this. S gives A, B, A gives small a and B gives small b. So let us see what are the strings that we can form from this grammar. So starting from the start symbol S, we know that S can give A, B, capital A and B and we know that from this production rule A gives small a. So instead of this big letter A, I'll write small a here and we also see that B gives small b. So instead of this B, I'll write small b over here. So now we see that we get the string a b and if you check, you can see that this is the only string that can be formed from this grammar. So since this is the only string that can be formed from this grammar, hence we can say that the language generated by the grammar G2 is given by the string a b. So this is the only string that can be formed by this grammar and our definition says that the set of all strings that can be derived from a grammar is said to be the language generated from that grammar. Now since this is the only string that can be generated from this grammar, so this is the language generated by this grammar G2. 
Okay, so let us see another example now. So here we have another example grammar G3 which is given like this. This is the non-terminal symbols. This is the terminal symbols. S is the start symbol and we have a production rule which says S gives AB and A gives AA and also small a and B gives BB and also small b. So let us see what are the strings that can be formed from this grammar G3. So let me start with the start symbol. So S gives AB. S gives AB. And let's see how can we expand this further. Let's go to A first. A gives AA and also it gives small a. So let me take this for the beginning. It gives small a. So A gives small a. And B, B also gives BB and it also gives small b. So let me choose this one for now. So B gives small b. So this is one string that can be formed from the grammar G3. Now let's see another string that can be formed. Starting with the start symbol again. S gives AB. And now let me look at A. And I will choose this production which says A gives AA. So instead of this A, I'll write AA. Okay, by this one. And instead of B, I will write BB. Because B gives BB. BB. Okay, and I will expand this further and in this step I will take the value of a as small a now and I'll take the value of b as small b. So this a comes down as it is and instead of this a over here I will take small a, this b it comes down as it is and this capital letter b instead of that I'll write small letter b. So this is another string that can be generated from this grammar g3. Now let, let's see another one. Starting with the start symbol S which gives A B and now instead of A I will take this one A A A A and for B in case of B instead of taking this let me take this one small letter B okay and now instead of this A I will take this small A now so this small A comes down as it is and instead of this capital letter A I will take this A over here and B. So A A B. This is another string that can be formed. And let's see one more. S gives A B. And now I will choose instead of A, I will write small letter A. And then instead of B, I will write B B. Okay. This is another choice that I can make. And this A comes as it is. This B comes as it is. And instead of this B, now I will take small b. A B B. So this is another string that can be formed. So depending on the choice of production that you take, you can generate many strings using this grammar G3. So what will be the language generated by this grammar G3? We saw that AB is one string and AABB. So I can write A square B square and here I, I get A square B. A square B and here I get a b square a b square okay and this is not the end it can go on further now how can I generalize and write this I can write this as a to the power m and b to the power n now why am I choosing different powers I am choosing different powers because we see that in some cases the powers are same but in some cases the powers are different like for this the power of a is 2 but the power of b is 1. So they could have different powers. So I'll say that the language generated by grammar G3 is the strings of the form a power m b power n for all m greater than or equal to 0 and n greater than or equal to 0. So this is a generalized way in which we can write the language that is generated by the grammar G3. So these were some examples of language that can be derived from the given grammars. So I hope this was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.